Welcome to Household Hacker. Today we're going to show you 10 simple microwave tricks that you can use to save time and money. Have you ever accidentally addressed a letter wrong? Perhaps you're writing your favorite superhero, but you accidentally got their name wrong after you put the stamp on. <laughs> no problem, just grab the envelope you used and dab just a few drops of water directly under the stamp. Now place the envelope in the microwave and nuke it for 20 seconds. When it's done, well, you can easily peel the stamp off with just a bit of prime and place that stamp right back on there. Then you're free to address the new envelope so that it will arrive at its destination safe and securely. No time for cooking, but you're in the mood for a bacony snack? Hey, no worries. You've got your trusty microwave. Grab a plate and a bowl and lay several slices of bacon directly on top of the bowl. Now toss it in the microwave and put about one minute on the timer for each slice of bacon that you use. The bacon grease will drip right down the bowl and onto the plate. Let the bacon cool down for about a minute before touching it or eating it. Mmm, delicious. All right, let's talk corn. Remove the husks from some corn in the cob and then wrap it with a damp paper towel just like this. Toss that beast in the microwave for no more than three minutes. When you pull it out, we suggest using corn cob skewers or uh, you know, those little things you plug into the sides. Add some butter or some seasoning and enjoy. All right, so the cutting board just got a high dose of meat. We definitely don't wanna get salmonella all over everything, but we don't have the time to wash it. So what do we do? Get the board wet, lather soap on the top, and then toss it into the microwave for a bit. Voila, sterilized cutting board ready for the next sacrifice. Oh my, do you have a sweet tooth and you have some two day old stale donuts? <laughs> That's not even a problem. Nuke them for 10 to 12 seconds in the microwave. And they'll be nice and squishy, just like they were fresh from the bakery. Mmm, -hmm. holy crud. My microwave is an absolute disgusting mess. Odd, I don't remember microwaving body parts in here, but I must have forgotten about it. How do we clean this up quick without any use of stinky chemicals? Easy, grab a lemon, Cut it into two pieces, fill a bowl with water, and squeeze some of the lemon juice out. Now you're gonna drop the lemons in and toss this whole thing into the microwave for four to five minutes. The water and lemon juice will boil off a bit. The citric acid will eat into any of the nastiness caked onto the microwave. You can simply wipe it all down afterwards to get yourself a nice, clean, and sanitary microwave. You know what sucks? Cutting onions. There's a gas released when you chop these things and it can literally bring tears to your eyes. However, if you chop the ends off the onion first and nuke it for 30 seconds, you can release most of the gas beforehand. This will allow you to easily chop the onion as you please with no more tears. Got the munchies, but you're out of chips? No problem. Grab yourself some nice looking taters. Now slice them thin, about 1 8 of an inch. Make some nice even layers and place them individually on a plate. Now set the microwave to three minutes. Once the timer runs out, you'll need to flip the slices over and add another three minutes to the nuker. Keep an eye on them and make sure they don't overcook. When you're done, you should have some surprisingly delicious potato chips. Just add some salt. You know, a lot of us experience back or neck pain, but we don't always have a heating pad laying around. So here is a very simple solution. Just grab a nice clean sock and fill it up with uncooked or dry rice. You might be able to find that in your cupboard. Once you're done filling it, just tie off the top, toss in the microwave for a couple minutes, and afterwards you're gonna have a nice heating pad that you can apply to any aching part of your body. Hmm, got yourself a nasty dish sponge, but you aren't ready to part ways with it? Your microwave can take care of this easily. Just grab the sponge and get it a bit wet. Now sprinkle a bit of dish soap on top and toss it in the microwave for about a minute to kill off any bacteria. When it comes out, you should have a nice, delicious treat. Uh, wait, uh, no, 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 don't, don't eat that. Hmm. Uh, okay, just use it to clean your dishes. Sorry. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.